breaking news tonight. The nation's largest school system, New York City, abruptly closes its doors, stopping in-person learning as the nation crosses a stunning milestone tonight, 250,000 American lives lost to COVID. Tonight, the long lines across America to get a test, just days before the Thanksgiving holiday. And with every indicator in the U.S. flashing red, the new Thanksgiving warning tonight. Racing to a cure, the first approved rapid COVID test you can take at home. And breaking news from Pfizer. It says its vaccine is safe and it's ready to be approved. A plea from the front lines. Joe Biden meets with first responders. Why the president-elect got emotional listening to a nurse's story. Fighting to reverse the election. The Trump campaign pays $3 million for a recount in two Wisconsin counties. Back in the air, Boeing's 737 MAX gets the okay to fly again after two deadly crashes that killed more than 300 people. But is the plane safe? What pilots tell us tonight. More of our CBS News investigation. Tonight we speak with survivors of sexual assault in the military. We're supposed to feel safe by, you know, with our brothers and sisters in the military, and they're the ones hurting us. And the breaking news as the Secretary of the Army responds to our reporting. It is abundantly clear. We must do better. Fast-moving wildfire. Hundreds of families under evacuation orders in Nevada tonight. And pandemonium. The adorable three-month-old cub needs a name, and the Smithsonian wants your help. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We are going to begin with breaking news and another sign of how dramatically and quickly a new wave of coronavirus infections is sweeping across the country. Tonight, the nation's largest...